Hi guys, me again, the Himerides guy. Today I will bring you a, um, let's call it a first impressions, uh, even though I've been using this mask for like two weeks now and I think I have a pretty good idea of its pluses and minuses. So this is the rear guard mask. Now, about this mask first. Uh, basically, this is a mask that was designed by a Himaist for Hima. And uh, the main thing that you will notice that is different is that it is elongated here. So that's the first thing you notice and that it has a, um, maybe we could call this a half back of head protector, so it protects your upper half of the head, but of course it doesn't protect the lower part simply uh, because a mesh going all the way down would hamper mobility by quite a bit. <clears throat> So let's go through, I've been using it as I said for about two weeks now and I have to say this is actually my favorite mask that I've tried. So the mesh is the same as All Star uh, and um, All Star is my second favorite mask now, the one that I have used for a while uh, because the mesh is very durable. Now this one actually does have a small dent here and I will actually show you the footage of what happened. Basically my opponent uh, made a feint with a stab and then stabbed me and I walked straight into that stab um, so of course there's gonna be a small dent here uh, however when I did get this was one of the strongest stabs I've gotten uh, and the magic didn't move an inch. It was much more comfortable than getting stabbed with any of the pre previous masks that I've had. Now, of course, you will be worried about this part here, so you do need something here. What I like about this design, even if it's just half a head, uh, is that it allows for a lot of breathability here and it's very easy to jury rig your own back of head protection not that i recommend it but if you have any experience with hard plastics or such you can very easily make something that will protect your uh, base of the neck uh, so that you won't get hurt when you get hit there um, the next thing that i noticed about this mask is when you put it on it is very comfortable. First, when I put it on, it was uh, maybe even a little bit too snug, but now that it kind of, um, that I wore it in a little bit, it is absolutely the most comfortable mask I've had. Um, there, the padding is much more substantial than with any other mask, and it does come with removable padding, so that's an important thing uh, to say as well. So let me just show you here. Okay, so this is all removable. Uh, I'm not going to put it all the way down, but you can see the Velcros because I have it nice and set up for my head. Uh, and the pads here are um, filled with some foamy material, which helps a lot with spherics and such. So, you know when you get a certain uh, angle of attack and somebody like hits you with a spheric at a very specific point and your head just starts ringing? all over. Uh, I have not had this happen with this mask so far, even though I've tried it. So I've had a partner come up and I told them, look, I need to see how this handles. Just hit me with a couple of spherics. My weak point is here. Um, and so far, I did not get the head ringing like when it goes straight, when it feels like the, the mask basically didn't do anything, right? Of course it did, but it feels like the sword just kind of went through. All the force just um, passed through the, the protection that the mask is supposed to offer. So I'm very happy with that. Uh, the bib is also a little bit elongated here, which does help a little bit with uh, these holes here that can, um, that can gape with most of the jackets and mask combos. Uh, and overall, I am extremely satisfied with this mask so far. Um, now it's still a couple of days uh, when you can actually pre-order it and get it a lot cheaper. So I absolutely recommend that you get uh, that you get it while it's cheap. Uh, this is basically the standard model with the added uh, bars inside. These bars actually, when you get hit, uh, some people when I lent them the mask complained that the bar started vibrating and they caused a, a ringing noise. So um, I think the bars are okay, but you have a better solution which is you can buy extra a plate that goes over here and that's if i bought a mask for myself because this one was sent to me for review purposes i would buy the standard version with this here by the way this is a standard version it just has the bars 
extra, it's not the advanced or whatever. Um, so that's about it. Uh, it does actually still conform to your head, even though it has this part, you can still squeeze it and mold it to your head a little bit. So if that was your concern, uh, it's thankfully proved to be unfounded because I was worried about that a little bit. Otherwise, yes, this is what we need. Um, these are not large steps, like this is a very small step to make. The removable lining with extra padding is again a very small step that that was made here. Uh, putting a plate here, again, a very small step, but they add up together. Of course, obviously, I don't have the plate, but these things add up together, and they make the mask worthwhile. So right now, it costs $110 plus postage and tax if you'll have to pay it. Um, and after the Indiegogo campaign is over, it's going to cost $150. Euro, uh, dollars. And I'd still say it is going to be worth it for most people simply because it has uh, so many of little incremental steps that mean a lot that it is worth those extra probably maybe 50 euros over a regular mask and I would absolutely recommend it to everyone. Uh, of course, if you can buy the, if you can spare the money, otherwise the regular 1600 Newton masks, they're fine, they work, but um, this is definitely better. And this is protection for your head. Your head is absolutely the most valuable thing that you have. Uh, please take good care of it. So do think about getting one of these masks, especially if you feel that your mask doesn't protect you well enough against Tverhaus and Strong Strikes. Um, and this is actually the first mask that I feel comfortable using without a scrum cap. I had to have I have to have this on so that it squeezes my head in a little bit, but uh, I'm not using my scrum cap with this, which means my head can breathe even more easily. That's it for now. Um, I will probably update if I see any other things, uh, especially any cons to this mask. Uh, I will update in about a year or so. So far though, this definitely has my seal of approval. Um, if you see me at any events, just um, ask to try it on and of course I'll let you try it on. So thank you very much for listening. I hope you find this useful and until next time, have a good one.